here I have a diary of Biniam, and I'm going to read uh, from his diary for you. I refused to talk in Karachi until they gave me a lawyer. I said it was my right to have a lawyer. The FBI said the law has changed. There are no lawyers. You can cooperate with us the easy way or the hard way. On the first day of the interrogation, Chuck said, if you don't talk to me, you are going to Jordan. We can't do what we want here. The Arabs will deal with you. It was when I got to Morocco that they said that some big people in Al-Qaeda were talking about me. They told me that the U.S. had a story they wanted from me, and that was their job to get it. They talked about Jose Padilla, and they said I was going to testify against him and big people. They cut off my clothes with some kind of doctor's scalpel. I was totally naked. They took the scalpel to my right chest. It was only a small cut, maybe an inch. At first, I just screamed. One of them took my penis in his hand and began to make a cut. He did it once, and then stood still for maybe a minute, watched my reaction. It was an agony, crying, trying desperately to suppress my feelings. But I was screaming. There was blood all over. We do not condone torture. I have never ordered torture. I will never order torture. The values of this country are such that torture is not a part of our soul and our being. The Convention Against Torture prohibits recourse to torture, cruel, degrading, uh, and uh, other inhumane uh, treatment by uh, or at the instigation of agents of the state for the purpose of obtaining intelligence uh, or other types of information. The British government promised me in Karachi they would intervene on my behalf. It's now more than three years, with many scars, both physical and perhaps deeper psychological. But I hope that the British people would hold the British government to its word. I want to get out of this hellish cell and back to my home on Cold Road. <laughs>